welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you another what we watched what what, what we watch yes what we watch <laughs> uh so we have the season finale of supergirl, supergirl yes um so um let's go ahead and start off with the beginning of it it um rain was causing all the was it earthquakes and tornadoes yeah, she was like going to the center of the earth, earth or whatever causing, causing all the natural disasters so all the super people and whoever else could super friends super, were flying around helping all the people um and then uh martian yeah martian manhunters I was gonna say, father i can't remember what his name is right he um, they kind of say their goodbyes and then he kind of sacrificed like, himself um, i don't i don't understand how he helped but somehow that helped yeah, he like somehow like merged with the earth, I guess, and stabilized it. Yeah, I don't really so he, get it. He like became part of the earth. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. But anyway, so um, so that took care of that part, and then um, but she was wasn't totally defeated. No. Um, and so they um, they ran into the part uh the part where I don't, I'm trying to remember what happened right before that, but um, where rain is in the cave mm -hmm. and then they um they all go in and try and stop her um and uh she's standing right there and you see sam on the back side and sam stabs her yeah because the um lena whatever they're trying to they're trying to like heal her because she's basically like sam's basically like dying because whatever right oh yeah yeah being separated from rain is doing so they're like they do come they give her like some kind of thing with the harnell the rock oh yeah they come up with some kind of a cure or whatever and it makes her okay again and then then yeah then she, she kind of goes after which kind of made sense i mean it doesn't make sense in a way for her to save supergirl but it did make sense because that was kind of her battle to fight mm -hmm. so um it made sense in that way but then it didn't stay that way because when she killed rain for some reason i guess the power left her through her eyes and I think it was just you know like like a rage she, or a blast or yeah because she like threw her in that lava or whatever mm -hmm. and I think she was just kind of like blah yeah and so her <laughs> eyes are going I think you just basically her and so she took out Monel ray, yeah and she took out um Kara's mother Kara's mother um, and um and I can't remember did did she hit Alex too or I know Martian yeah. Manhunter was already knocked out, so he it was. The only two know. that weren't affected were Martian Manhunter and Kara. Okay. They were the only two that weren't. So that, everybody else was basically right. dead. Right. So so immediately she's like, wait, things can't be like this. Yeah. So she reverses time, and she and goes she takes back. Takes his ring and takes Monel's ring. And right. Goes That's back right. In time and. And then uh, so then she when the next time when she gets ready to stab her, she says no. They all grab the rock, and. Um, then rain is sucked into like the deep dark yeah they go into that like shadow realm yeah. or whatever that, yeah yeah that's right they got separated from the others thing and um and yeah then the whatever the dark spirits or whatever and just carry her, took off her away um which seemed like okay that's it that's the end um and then um i mean or else you you think that's the end of that situation for right then Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get the notifications so you can see more awesome unboxer fun. Um, and then it, uh, Brainiac comes in and we find out that all is not well. Yeah, it's, it's, it was kind of, um, it was kind of sad because, you know, you've kind of been hoping that, that Monel and Carr are going to get back together and then, um, his wife kind of comes back to help them with with the natural disaster thing which was very nice um and then he kind of is like you know I, i'm gonna stay here and they kind of come to a um a happy agreement. not a happy yeah. agreement but basically they're both of them are okay and she's gonna go back to the future and he's gonna stay back to the here um and everything seems like it's okay and then yeah then brainiac's like yeah Did, she didn't tell you and yeah. So anyway, so pestilence. Some because they killed pestilence. Somebody else lived. Yeah. Then, then the the evil brainiac that is normally associated with Superman is is still it's, alive. Right. So of course it affected all of time. Plus probably what um, Kara did because of what it, that happens at the end. But anyway, so he and Wynn have to leave 
and go to the future. Yeah, Brainy Brainy has to stay in the past because he he's has two he's be, well. It's it's Brainiac is trying to wipe out all other like synthetic life. Like so, he would be a target if he went back to the future. So he yeah. has to kind of stay behind. But they need somebody smart, so they send Win yeah. to the future in his place, which is right, which is kind of bittersweet. And um, and so and then uh, um, Kara's sister tries to retire. Or yeah, because she decides she's going to like, And Marsh Manhunter tells her, nope, I'm going to step down, so that means you have to step up. Yeah. So that's you not, can't quit. She's I like, quit. that's not how I expected that to go. And that was kind of awkward. The whole episode, in my opinion, was very awkward. Very chopped up um, and very awkward. And I don't know if I just started to notice this the last couple episodes, um, but it kind of bursts from action to non-action to, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't agree with how either it's laid out. Um, to me, it wasn't a very exciting finale. Um, and then, I, I mean, the little teaser at the end was kind of cool. You see Kara show up, or actually you don't know it's her until the end. She's like... Yeah, I'm assuming else. that... Um, and I, I, don't, I don't know, but I'm assuming because she's kind of like wandering with like a sheet or whatever wrapped around her. Um, then in Siberia and she doesn't act like she knows where she's at or yeah. who she is or whatever. Um, my assumption is that like they did with Rain, that when they used the Hyrenel that it somehow split yeah. Kara and so now there's actually two of them rather than... Yeah, um, probably. And this and is like the... This might be the evil one. Or yeah, so we don't probably. know if it's like an evil Kara. Or, we'll have to wait and find out. But, yeah, for sure. So, um, as far as season, I don't know, I've, I've been kind of disappointed. Just let us know in the comments how you feel about, I mean, you know, well, I like the story super, I mean, I like the, the show and everything, and um, we're not going to stop watching, but so far as, like, I feel like it's been a real downer, the last. And actually, as compared, com compared to um, Legends of Legend Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Legends of Tomorrow had that really Legend good. Tomorrow I didn't used to like that as much. It stepped up, and I totally enjoyed their season. Um, and I don't know if it's because of the whole chunked thing, but um, the episodes felt very chunky too. Didn't didn't flow. Um, and so even though Monel came back, and that was supposed to be a positive thing, it was so um, I don't know. The the good part was like when she went home for that. That was kind of nice. Um, but other than that, there's been a lot of. A lot of things that were just like, eh. Well, and you didn't, um, I guess my my disappointment was, and I thought it was a decent episode, but my disappointment was you expected either like the the big cliffhanger or it to like be like a, you know, like a like a rocky kind of ending, you know, where you're cheering, but even, af wasn't. even after they, um, even after they defeated Rain, um, it was kind of like, okay, well, now Monel's got to go back to the future, so yeah, know, there was no they're kind of they, they're split up. So obviously they're not the two of them are not going to get together. Yeah. Um, Wind's leaving, um, so you know yeah, that was yes. kind of a downer. It was it was more of a it kind of like left you instead of you know it kind of left you like yeah. on a down note. So. Yes, it did. Um, I liked the little teaser at the end, but so far as like hey we won now everybody has to leave. Yeah, yeah. So um, so that that was a little disappointing to me. For sure. So let us know what you thought. I don't know one. To, I don't, if we did one to ten scale. I, I don't know. Maybe like a six because it was not. It was. I mean, there's there's so many better. You know, so much better ways. But um, anyway, we shall see what the new season holds. So um, you have a, a rating for it. Um, I I'd probably give it somewhere around the same. Um, you know, I I enjoyed it, but. I just didn't. I was really hoping for like the, you know, yeah. coming out like. It was real wishy washy, and then when it got to the end, and it was kind of predictable. Once you saw those people kind of not make it, you're like, well, she's going to fix that, you know? So, anyways, so we'll, let us know what you thought of Supergirl, the final, uh, the season finale. Um, it'll be coming back, I believe, in October with the rest of it. Um, yeah. But we will we will uh, continue to, to listen out for those details, those little hints of new things to come in the new season. So, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, tell a friend. And as always, we want to always know, what do you watch? <laughs>